Between them, Jacquard and Morse had found new and novel ways to manipulate, process and transmit information. What had begun with the invention of writing thousands of years ago had culminated in the binding of the entire planet in a lattice of wires carrying highly abstracted information at incredible speeds. For people at the end of the 19th century, it may have seemed that humanity's ability to manipulate and transmit information was at its zenith. They couldn't have been more wrong. Information would reveal itself to be a more important, more fundamental concept than anyone could have imagined. It would soon become apparent that information wasn't just about human communication. It was a much further reaching idea than that. The true nature of information would first be hinted at thanks to a strange problem, one dreamed up by a brilliant Scottish physicist who appeared to be thinking about something else entirely. James Clark Maxwell was one of the great minds of the 19th century. Among his many interests, Maxwell became fascinated by the science of thermodynamics, the study of heat and motion that had sprung up with the birth of the steam engine. Maxwell was one of the first to understand that heat is really just the motion of molecules. The hotter something is, the faster its molecules are moving. This idea would lead Maxwell to dream up a very bizarre thought experiment in which information played a crucial role. Maxwell theorized that simply by knowing what's going on inside a box full of air, it would be possible to make one half hotter and the other half colder. Think of it like building an oven next to a fridge without using any energy. It sounds crazy, but Maxwell's argument was extremely persuasive. It goes like this. Imagine a small demon perched on top of the box who has such excellent eyesight that he can observe accurately the motion of all the molecules of air inside the box. Now, crucially, he's in control of a partition that divides the box into two halves. Every time he sees a fast-moving molecule approaching the partition from the right-hand side, he opens it up, allowing it through to the left. And every time he sees a slow-moving molecule approaching the partition from the left, he opens it up, allowing the molecule through to the right. Now, you can see what's going to happen. Over time, all the fast-moving, hot molecules will accumulate on the left-hand side of the box, and all the slow-moving, cold molecules on the right. Crucially, the demon has done this sorting with nothing more than information about the motion of the molecules. Maxwell's demon seemed to say that just by having information about the molecules, you could create order from disorder. This idea flew in the face of 19th century thinking. The science of thermodynamics had shown very clearly that over time, the entropy of the universe, its disorder, would always increase things were destined to fall apart.
but the demon seemed to suggest that you could put things back together without using any energy at all. Just by using information, you could create order. It would prove to be a fiendishly difficult problem to solve, not least because the brilliant Maxwell had come up with an idea far, far ahead of its time. It's amazing the, the impact he had had on, on physics and that he came up with this very intricate concept and that he already, in some sense, pre, well, anticipated the, the notion of information that wasn't actually there at that time. There was no such thing. I think this idea was, was astonishing. He didn't really have a resolution. He raised it as a, as a concern and he left it open. And I think what followed is more or less 120 years of, of extremely exciting debates and developments to try to resolve and address this uh, concern. So what was going on with Maxwell's demon? It may sound far-fetched and fanciful, but imagine the possibilities if we could build a machine in the real world that could mimic the actions of the demon. I could use it to heat a cup of coffee, or to run an engine, or to power a city, all using nothing more than pure information. It's as though we could create order in the universe without expending any energy. Scientists felt intuitively that it had to be wrong. The problem was it would take over a hundred years to solve the problem. <laughs> 